There is another choice for making funeral arrangements. Central Funeral Services, located in Eufaula in Louisville, Alabama, with one-of-a-kind staff, thrives on professionalism and meeting the unique needs of families with a wide variety of services. Owned and operated by the Mixon family. Call 687-1060 or 266-5261. Melissa Mixon-Smith, Licensed Funeral Director. Now for the next 30 minutes, you'll be listening to the most powerful one half hour of ministry that you'll hear all week long. The man of God encouraging you to go to church. And now for the next 30 minutes, uh, we're going right now to Dr. L.C. Green of Uchi Chapel, located in Seal, Alabama. Dr. L.C. Green in his own way. Th thank you. Thank you again. Thank you again. Thank you again. Uh, Dr. Woodley, I want to say good morning to all of our listeners and all of our viewers this morning. I want to say good morning to, to all of you, and I want to say that God is still blessing us. Whether we recognize it or not, God is still, still blessing us, and I'm glad that God is still in the, in the, blessing, in the blessing business. I tell you, Father God, we come this morning rejoicing for another day. We come this morning rejoicing for another opportunity to be used by you. We ask you now that you would use us in any way that, that, that you see fit, where you might be glorified in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I'm going to, I'm going to say this, Dr. Woodley, and then I'm going to, I'm going to move on to something else. I, 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 I think our leaders have, 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 have lost their mind. Mm. I think our leaders have lost their mind, Dr. Whitley. Uh, they, it, they, it amazes me some of the stuff they come up with. They come up with some stuff every every week is something different. Mm -hmm. uh, trying to keep the people from talking, trying to keep the people quiet. Uh, uh, man, I, 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 was, I was called the N-word Monday. I ain't been called that in such a long time. I was in the council chambers. And, one of the councilmen called me the N word. What you say? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I just that took the cake. That took the cake for me. Mm. You know, uh, uh, that took the cake. But I think those who was there, I saw brother person there, sister person. Uh, brother Charles told me that you're doing a little bit better, but you're still in our prayers. I want you to know that you are in our prayers. Uh, I had a chance to talk to brother Charles Monday, mm -hmm. uh, but sister person, you're still in our prayers. Miss Evelyn, I came by to see you. Uh, Ms. Moselle, God bless you. You are in our prayer, and and I want to say I want to say a special thank you to Pastor and Sister Hunter from First African Baptist. Uh, uh, Wednesday night, Uti Chapel was uh, was on program over at Star Baptist. I want to thank Star Baptist also for inviting us, and uh, so what we did, we combined the choir. Mm -hmm. When the Uti Chapel got ready to sing, Sister Hunter and the members of the choir from First African came and helped us. And when we got, when they got ready, we went and joined them. Amen. So I want to, I want to thank them. I want to thank them. I want to thank them for that. I want to thank them for that. And I want to say good morning to the to the Bob's Country Kitchen. I want to say good morning right. to them, Miss Francis, and all of them over there. Uh, they've been listening to us for, for a while, and I want to thank them for that. How, how's your mother doing? Oh, she's 100. Good, good, good. And 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 the rest of the family. 100, 100. All right. Uh, I'm doing 1,000. You're doing 1,000. <laughs> well, I'm kicking 100. I, I want to I want to say good morning to to Mark. Mark is my, my cameraman, and Mark. I didn't know that, but. Found out I'm talking to him this week. Mark and getting up every Sunday listening to me. No, oh, okay. Um, and I want to say to, to good morning to him. Uh, I want to say good morning to him. I uh, there 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 there. I want to apologize to the to the families uh, that were served by the Central Federal Home this week. I I, I just. In my rush, I didn't get the names of everybody, so I don't want to call no names. Mm -hmm. But I know yesterday they had uh, three funerals, mm -hmm. Central did, and uh, I think they got some pending. And because I don't know the names of everybody, I learned not to call no names, mm -hmm. and you can't call all of the names. Mm -hmm. But I want all of the families to know 
uh, that you'll hear in our prayers. And, and, and I'm not so small that we just pray for the families of Central. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I know your father funeral home had, had some funerals mm -hmm. this week. Uh, uh, Sanford and Son had some funerals this week. Mm -hmm. And we're praying for all those families. Amen. We, we, we're praying for every family where sickness or death has come. We are praying for them. Yes. That there's nobody. Uh, uh, we, we, we are not small folks. Mm -hmm. God folks are not small folks because we serve a big God. And if you're going to serve a big God, you got to be big. That's right. You, you follow what I'm saying? That's right. So when I when I say when I say when I say that I'm praying for the families that were served by Central Funeral Home this week, oh, I'm not I, I'm not limited to that. Mm -hmm. I don't I don't stop there. Mm -hmm. You, you understand what I'm saying? Yes. Uh, uh, but those, those are the ones that I get their names. Right. Because I go there. I go there. Matter of fact, Dr. Woodley, I went there this week and they were so busy, I hurried up and left. Because <laughs> uh, Jim Gifford was busy and he got to looking at me like he was going to ask me to help him. Mm -hmm. So I got on out. <laughs> it's, it's, it's I got, time to go. Oh, I got on out of that, Dr. Woodley. It's time to go. Yeah, they, they were going to let me just sit around and drink some coffee. Uh -huh. And I was waiting on you to come by. I said, well, I sit and drink some coffee and talk to Dr. Woodley. <laughs> and then I look at Jim Gifford. He had that look in his eye like, uh -huh. come help me. <laughs> I got on out of that now. Yeah, no yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I want to. I want to. I want to. I want to say. You know, yesterday I, I I had a chance to go by and see my friend Jimmy Williams over at Williams Barbershop, mm -hmm. and he gave me a tour of the place. Man, that's a beautiful place. That, 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 that that's a Where beautiful. Where's the location? Right, right there on 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 the main drive, right next to the auto parts store. Right, right here on on what is that? 431? Mm-hmm. Right there. It's right there. Uh, I, I, uh, you, know where, you know where the mayor's office is? Yeah. Uh, his mm -hmm. business, I'm talking about. His uh -huh. business. Not not his office downtown as the mayor. Uh-huh. But uh, the strike zone, his business. It's right in front of that. It's in, I oh. call it a little plaza right there. Mm -hmm. uh, the tax yeah. business is in there and all that. But anyway, he gave me a, he gave me a tour. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm going to get that address, and next Sunday I'll tell you the address. Okay, okay. Uh, uh, but I don't, I don't know the address, but I know where it's at. And uh, I, I went over there and I had to talk to him. I hadn't talked to my brother in a long time. But uh, Jimmy, Jimmy and his family have been very good to me. He's been mm -hmm. very good to me. He's a, he's a friend and, I, and, and he's done some things for me that has made a difference in my life. Mm -hmm. And uh, I went by yesterday and talked to him. And, and, I, and I tell you, he, he's doing some things in there. He, he's, he's helping a lot of young men. Mm -hmm. You know, he's helping a lot of young men. I had a chance to to talk to him, and I'm not sure how much, you know, of his business he want to put out. Mm -hmm. You know, but I was really, I was really impressed uh, where he has a he has a program there where he can train if, if young men are interested in getting into that business. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Especially, especially high school young men, mm -hmm. and, and I'm sure women too. I I, I don't know. Uh, but I know we was talking about some young men that that he's in the process of training. Mm -hmm. That way they can have a career, you know, if they so desire. Right. Uh, when they finish high school, they can go to college and further that, you know. Mm -hmm. And I was really, I was really impressed by that. I was really moved by that, with what he's doing there. And I just wanted to mention it. Like I said, I'm not sure how much, how much of that he, mm -hmm. he want me to really say, mm -hmm. you know. But when somebody is doing something positive in the That's community, right. That's right. I, I think we ought to say something. Amen. You understand what I'm saying? Yes. Uh, 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 for every young man that he's training, there's one less young man out there in the street. That's right. That's right. Uh, the young man don't have no business being out there. He might be out there, but mm -hmm. you know he's training them. And I was really, I was really impressed by that. And I want to take my hat off to him and. Somebody ought to say something to him about that, you mm -hmm. know, thanking him Amen. for what he's doing. And I had I went by Verizon. <laughs> I went by Verizon. I had to go. I, I did I had to go. I had to go and and uh not, nobody went y'all ain't went by and said hello to him. Yeah, y'all go by and say hello to him. And uh, I told him I went in there, I said, anybody come and tell y'all we talked about y'all real nice on the radio and TV and say, No, ain't nobody came. Mm -hmm. I said, well, you ain't listen neither. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I went, I went, I went by there. I, I went by there. I went by there. I went by there. Uh, and I want to say hello to Tony and all of the gang over at the over at the Bear Basket. Man. That's, mm -hmm. that's my regular routine, man. 
I want to say hello to everybody. I want to, uh, I want to, I want to, uh, I heard the announcement that you made about the third Sunday. Mm -hmm. uh, I was trying to see what date that is. Six. 16th, 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 over at uh, Mount, Level. Mount Level, Mount Level, yeah, Pastor Butler having this men's day, and uh, it's at, it's at 11.30, mm -hmm. and uh, what I always, what I always do when there's a program at this time of the morning, I tell folks, don't miss their church, mm -hmm. but there's enough folks who's not going to nobody's church that they could go over and pack up Mount Level. That's right. You understand what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Uh, uh, people need to understand, and I, I'm having a hard time getting that across to people. Your first obligation is your house. That's right. Uh, uh, I believe that if you're going to church, you're going because God has placed you there. God has called you there, and that's your first obligation. You don't leave. You don't leave your house at 11:30 to go to Rick's house. That's right. You, you follow what I'm saying? Amen. Now I know. I know Pastor Butler would, would agree with me. He's not. He's not inviting folks to leave their church mm -hmm. but he know like I know there are so many folks that don't have no church home nowhere mm -hmm. and they sitting around some of them sitting around right now watching us on TV or listening to us on the radio they ain't going to nobody church mm -hmm. so so you got plenty of time to prepare well that's next Sunday third Sunday right but that give you a week to prepare to go mm -hmm. you ought to make up your mind that you're going and, and Mount Level would be a good place to go good place to go. That's a, that's that's a very nice, kind people there. That'd be a great place to go. So you ought to you ought to make up your mind between now and Sunday and go over there at eleven thirty. Men's Day. Man, I, I tell you what, I I always take my hat off when somebody celebrates men's day. Matter of fact, me and Pastor Hunter was talking about that Wednesday, the like of men in church. Mm -hmm. Every church you go to, the women outnumber the men. Amen. And that means men, we're not doing what we're supposed to do. That's right. We're supposed to be in the church because we're the head, and we're supposed to be in the church. You cannot provide spiritual leadership in your home if you're not in church being instructed. Mm -hmm. So a day has been set aside at Mount Level for the men and, uh, at 1130. So you, you can go, you can go, you can go there, men, and get out in time and still go and do what you want to do. That's right. And and that's the thing I don't understand. You can you you got time to go and be obedient to God, and then if you so desire, you can still go and do what you what you want to do, whatever it is that you want to do. You can still go out and do it. Mm -hmm. But but we got to we got to get uh, first things first. That's right. And I think the first our first obligation is to go. To God's house and give and give Him much thanks for for His goodness and for His mercy, for His kindness, and for all that He has done for us. God, God is a God is a good God, and folks don't mind saying that He's good. Mm -hmm. But the question I always say we must ask ourselves: Are we as good to God as He is Amen. to us? Amen. Amen. And and, and 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 listen to this: We require a whole lot more of God than God requires of us. Mm -hmm. We require a whole lot more from God mm -hmm. than God requires of us. God requires of us. And matter of fact, whatever God requires of us, He will give us whatever we need to accomplish whatever it is Amen. that He wants us, want us to do or that whatever it is He wants to do through us. Mm -hmm. And I think that so many times we, we miss the mark because we don't understand that we have an obligation. We have an obligation to God, and because we have an obligation to God, we have an obligation to each other. Amen. And 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 one somebody asked me what's wrong with our city and what's wrong with America, and what it is we don't have enough people in 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 these positions of leadership that love the Lord. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You, you understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yes. Because if you love the Lord, you can't help but love people. That's right. And every decision you make and everything you do, you're going to do for the good of the people. Mm -hmm. You're going to do for the good of, of the people. And, and, and so I, I, just, I just wanted to, I just want us to, especially us men, especially us men, uh, we, we got to understand our responsibility. And I, and I pray God that I see the day before I leave this world where the men running over in the church mm -hmm. 
is simply to be instructed of their responsibility. We have responsibility. We have responsibility as men. I thank God. I thank God for the women, and I thank God for the, what they are doing uh, in the church. Mm -hmm. But 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 <clears throat> I, I, I say this, and I, I, I don't know how else to say it, but I, shame on us when we make God take second choice. Amen. Sh shame on us. Sh shame shame on us when we when we when we are not doing what it is that we're supposed. Now that might get me in a whole lot of hot water. But but I, I stand by that. Mm -hmm. I, I stand by the fact that God has placed men as the head. So we got we it's us first. Right. Us first. Mm -hmm. It's us first. And, and and you know the Bible went out and said, Go as far as I make the rocks cry out. Mm -hmm. But men supposed to praise him first. Right. We we we're we, we his first we're his first choice. Mm -hmm. We're his first choice. Uh, I am the spiritual Head of my house, I'm the spiritual head of my house, mm -hmm. and and shame on me if my wife has to be the spiritual head of my house. Shame on me. Mm -hmm. Amen. Shame on me, uh, uh, where where we have to we have to take and 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 tell God, say God, uh, I know you want me to be the head, mm -hmm. but I'm not gonna do that. I, I, there's other things that I want to do. Mm -hmm. Because you know he said, have no other God before me. That's right. And whatever whatever you whatever you doing that's not in accordance with what God wants us to do, that simply means that you're putting something else before God. Amen. That simply means that you have another you have another God. And 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 he said that everybody that say Lord, Lord don't know me. And and and, and it, it is showing. Because it seems as if though and, and and this this is I, I, I want I want somebody uh, that's gonna read the Bible this week. I want you to read uh, Numbers, the first chapter of Numbers. Mm -hmm. And and this this is what the first chapter of Numbers does. Uh, 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 Dr. Whitley, the first chapter, the first chapter of the book of Numbers, tell the children what they what to expect. Mm -hmm. This is what's gonna happen. This is what's gonna happen. You're gonna you're gonna encounter people that's bigger than you and. You're gonna encounter folks that outnumber you. Mm -hmm. So when you see this, see this. This is what this is what we got to understand. We got to believe what God says more than what we see. You, you follow what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. a lot of times, what we see causes us to block out God's word. Right. You know, if God, if God, if God says that when you get to the land, you're gonna see giants. Mm -hmm. But by the same time, He told them, "I'm going. I'm going to give you this land." You, you're going to overcome these giants. You're mm -hmm. going to whip them. I, I already done that for you. Mm -hmm. So when you get to the land and you see the giants, you ought to not get all upset and get scared. And You, you understand what I'm That's saying? Right. See, see, God has not given us the spirit of fear. Mm -hmm. But he has given us power. And he's given us the spirit that we, we, that we can be overcomers. And anything we come against, mm -hmm. we, we can overcome. But the good news is, there's nothing that come against us that God has not already told us. All right. You, you follow what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. He said, I'm, I'm, sending you, I'm sending you to this land, and the land has been described as a land of milk and honey. Right. You understand? Mm -hmm. But there's going to be some giants there. Mm -hmm. There are going to be some folks there bigger than you, and not only they're going to outnumber you. Mm -hmm. So don't be surprised when your enemies outnumber you. Right. Don't be surprised when they're bigger than you. Mm -hmm. But know this. God says... That I'm gonna give you this land, mm -hmm. and when God say He's gonna do something, He's, he's gonna do it. do it regardless of what the opposition might be. Amen. You see, you see, that's why I tell folks who who's fighting God's children and who's fighting the church, you you can't win. Mm -hmm. You you gonna you gonna you gonna make a little noise. You're gonna get folks on your side. It's there's nothing for Satan to get folks on his side. Mm -hmm. That that's the easiest thing for Satan to do, <laughs> is to get folks on his side. And, and so, 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 but this is what this is what happened, and and we see it all the time. Folks who are going against the church, going against God, going against God's folks. They always got somebody with them. Mm -hmm. They always got some weak-minded, no backbone person with them. You follow what I'm saying? Amen. And because they got somebody with them, they think they're gonna win. But the Bible declares. Regardless of how many people come against you, you're still going to win because that's God's promise. 
So we need to learn to believe what God says and not what we see. But see, see, the devil can, can paint you a picture. And if all you see is the picture that the devil paint, you'll get so scared you'll run away. And, and God wants us to stand. He wants us to stand for what's right. He wants us to stand on his word. So, so I tell you, my, my brothers and sisters, regardless to, to what you're going through, it's just a matter of time. You see, we got to understand that God's time and our time ain't the same. But God has promised us victory, and we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna receive the victory. I wanna, I wanna, I got to say good morning to all my kin folks up there in Lake Charles. I haven't had a chance to, to call down this week, and Mrs. Keller, uh, God bless you. You, you're still in, in our prayers, Dr. Banks, uh, and Kathy, and Dee Dee, and Marvin, and all of y'all, Brother Walls. You and your family, uh, y'all are in my prayers. Uh, Mobile, you, you're in my prayers. Sister Hart and Mother Jones and the whole family, Sister Albright, and you know, we praying for you and Brother Jay, we y'all still in our prayers. See, God, God, God is a God is a prayer answering God. But the secret I tell everybody is that if you're gonna pray, then don't worry. Turn it over to God, leave it there. And and one way that 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 you that, that you know that you have turned it over to God is that whatever it is, you're not worried about it anymore. If you say you turn something over to God, but yet you're still worried, then you didn't turn it over to Him. Amen. Because to turn something over to God means I'm through with it. I'm through with it. I'm not worried about it. So more it be, I know it's going to be done. Amen. I'm moving on. I'm doing something else. That's what it means when you say you turned it, you turned it over to God. So, so, so you pray, regardless of what you're going through, you pray. You, you, you pray, you pray. This is the person, God answers prayers, and God will give you a complete healing, but you got to trust him. Once you trust God, God will give you a complete healing. God, God don't heal halfway. God don't heal halfway. God doesn't do anything halfway. Everything God does, he does 100%. Amen. 100%. And, 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 and I caution folks. I caution folks, you got to be careful how you deal with God's children. Can't deal with God's children just any kind of way. Mm -hmm. you, you can't treat God's children just any kind of way. The day of reckoning is coming. See, now, see this, this is the problem, Dr. Whitley. Dr. Uh, Dr. Whitley, the problem is this. Folks are having a good time here. Mm -hmm. They're doing what they want to do. They're saying what they want to say. They're treating people any kind of way. Mm -hmm. And they think they're getting away with it. But the Bible declared that after death comes the judgment. All right. And that's going to happen. Now, you, 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 might, you might be big and bad now. Mm -hmm. Huh? Amen. But a day is going to come, and he's going to say, Depart from me, thou workers of iniquity. Mm -hmm. yes, he you, is. Can't treat, you can't treat people any kind of way. Mm -hmm. You can't just do what you want to folks. That's right. You see, the, see this, this is what it is. The devil has got folks deceived. Mm -hmm. The devil got folks deceived. The devil got folks believing they're all right. They can do whatever they want to do. They can talk to people any kind of way. Mm -hmm. Treat them any kind of way. You can't do that. You, you can't do that. You've you, you, you got to be careful Amen. how you treat God's children. you got to be careful. Amen, yes. You know, well, I don't like so-and-so. -so. That's your business. You better like them. Because God loves them. Amen, yes. You better like them because God loves them. And because you don't like them, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, that does not allow you to treat people any kind of way. If you don't believe nothing else, you ought to believe you reap what you sow. Amen, amen. Huh? Touch my, my prophet and do my... Children no harm. L l l listen to this. Listen to this. You remember that old commercial that say either pay me now or pay me later? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you see, a, a lot of folks getting away with stuff now. Mm -hmm. But they're going to have to pay for it later. That's right. That's right. A lot of folks getting away with stuff. Mm -hmm. You're going to reap what you sow. You're gonna, it's it's going to come back to you. Mm -hmm. you, you. You follow what I'm saying? Amen. A lot of folks walking around now thinking they all this and all that, doing what they want, but they're going to have to pay for it one day. Mm -hmm. You understand? That's why it's important 
to go to church. Amen. And not just go there and sit there. Go there and take the word in. Yes. And be hearers and doers of the word. Amen. It's not, it's not, it's not, it's not all, and, and I have this discussion all the time. I have this discussion all the time. It's not, it's not all about just going to church. Mm -hmm. You understand? It's not all about just going. It's going somewhere where the truth is being preached, taught, and lived. And it got to be those three ways. Mm -hmm. Somebody got to teach it. The Bible said you got to teach and preach. Amen. Yes. You can't just teach. You got to preach. You can't just preach. You got to teach. Mm -hmm. You got to teach, preach, and you got to live it. Amen. You got to live what you're preaching. You got to live what you're teaching. Mm -hmm. You got to do that. And so, and so in order for, for you to know what it is that you have, you got to go to church. That's right. I, 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 listen, I, I listen to all of the arguments, Dr. Whitley, and I'm trying to find a way around it. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to find a way to, to agree with my brothers and sisters. I'm trying to find a way to agree with them, but I can't. Mm -hmm. I, I cannot get around the fact that people need to go somewhere where they can be taught God's Word. Amen. So they will know what it is that is required of them. Mm -hmm. And then they can stop this foolishness about they can't do it. Mm -hmm. There's nothing that God requires of us that we can't do. That's right. There's nothing that is required of us that we can't mm -hmm. do. If God requires it of you, you can do it. You can do it. And he will give you everything you need to do it. Amen. I'm telling you, my brothers and sisters, I, 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 you, I'm telling you, if you don't hear me say nothing else, hear me say that you need to go somewhere where the truth, where the gospel, where folks are not scared mm -hmm. to teach and preach and live the gospel. Amen. You hear me? Yes. You got to teach it, you got to preach it, Amen. and you got to live it. Mm -hmm. No compromise. Right. There is no compromising when it comes to the gospel. Mm -hmm. Got to be. You got to live it, you got to preach it, and you got to teach it. Mm -hmm. And those of you who say that, that you can get it at home, you're sadly mistaken. Mm. You got to go around other believers. Our strength comes from each other. That's right. That's right. Our strength comes from each other. You, you, you know, it makes us stronger when we can sit around and share God's word. Mm -hmm. There's nothing like a testimony of what God has done. Yes. You, you going through something mm -hmm. and then somebody who went through that can give you a testimony that God delivered them. Mm -hmm. And if you know that God delivered them, he'll deliver you. He's Amen. no respecter of a person. Amen. But you got to go somewhere. Mm -hmm. See, you see, you see, normally if you just stay home, all you're going to hear is the negative part of it. Mm -hmm. Normally, normally now, if you just stay home, all you're going to hear is, yeah, 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 yeah. you understand what mm -hmm. I'm saying? So you got to go somewhere where the word is being preached, Amen. where the word is being taught, mm -hmm. and where the word is being lived. And you know what you're going to find when you get that? Mm -hmm. Joy. Mm -hmm. You're going to find joy. Mm -hmm. When somebody is teaching, preaching, and living God's word, they're full of joy. Amen. They, 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 it, 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 it's joy in living God's word. Yes. It's joy in teaching God's word, and sure enough joy in preaching God's word. Mm -hmm. So you're going to be around folks who, who's able to look beyond their circumstances. Mm -hmm. you, you're going to be around folks who's not going to get bogged down by the question mm -hmm. because they know the answer. Amen. And see, when you know the answer, you don't have to get bogged down by the question. Mm -hmm. When you know the answer, you don't have to get bogged down by the question. Mm -hmm. You don't have to get bogged down by the question when you know the answer. That's right. And if the answer, the answer is Jesus Christ, so you don't have to get bogged down by the question. Mm -hmm. You don't have to get bogged down by the question. Pastor Green reminds all of us to go to church next Sunday. This program can be seen on Ufala TV 99 on Sundays at 10.30 a.m. and Wednesdays at 9 p.m. It can also be viewed on YouTube at Ufala TV One channel on Monday night.